BRB sobbing. Not sure why I'm straight out in the beginning. I think that's one of his friends or something on, on his Instagram or whatnot. I know I'm being a stalker. You know, I'm not being a stalker because it is out in the public and they're both adults. If you're basically curious, young adults. And the reason why I'm to share this page, right? This is one thing I feel jealous of, but it is really cute in a spying way because it'd be nice if this would happen to me, which it would never will. I'm just being honest. Is you see this couple, right? They're, they're early 20s. He's 21. He's really handsome, to be honest. And she's 22. Her name is Ash. He's supposed to be this um, man, three years. So they've been to, together since what, they're 18. My gosh. Well, this is. Yeah, this is back in December, so since they were 18. Wow. Honestly. And even his girlfriend would we we play sometimes. And I like how, you know, he's a straight guy, he would actually give a heart to like his friend and whatnot, right? The reason why I'm gonna share this is because I was really curious to view this couple's page, right? And this boy here, he's Lufranian, if you could tell by his flag, is that he's supposed to be a 3D graphic artist. He's really handsome. That girl is so lucky to have a boy like him. Plus, he had quite the growth spurt, too. Like, this is him when he's 11 with the Minecraft shirt, and then that's him now. Um, he's actually seven foot because I looked up if I can actually find it. His um, Reddit page, right? On the tall subreddit, and he's seven foot. It, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna lie to that. It'd be really nice to meet a boy that height, to be honest, because I grew up around tall boys myself in school and they were really protected of me which is why i find tall boys really attractive and my heart would race when i had to tilt my head up to them but basically he is like a professional photographer because i guess he went to some place that he would measure his height to celebrities like era grande you know she's wearing heels that's why she doesn't look as short to basically justin beaver oh i didn't know he was average height and even drake golly am i that small he's six foot by the way and look at this boy. He's seven foot, right? So, um, not to mention the way he dressed. It's just, I'm, I'm jealous of that girl, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Like, for my single Pringles out there, you ever, like, look through someone's Instagram and they're, like, an Insta couple and you feel so left behind in life that you're just sitting at home all day watching, like, repeats of Gumball, you know, there's something else airing right now. And you're just all alone and you basically have no friends and I apologize for sounding like a Dion Downer right now and I'm just built different like that. I like how you even call some shorties as well. Like, I don't know, something about tall boys is they really fascinate me because I mean, I'm not saying short boys don't have confidence. Absolutely not, right? I mean, I love being short myself, but it's just like uh, maybe because, I don't know, I'm not saying like it's their personality, but it just seems like it kind of, it shows it that way. It actually makes sense, right? And I'm just jealous of him, honestly. Fortunately, the woman that took all the pictures is the woman I'm playing on Mary. Honest. Oh, so she's 5'10". Wow. Okay, so I was right. She was on the, she is on the tall side. Wow. Well, she, well, lucky for her then. Because you know what? I bet she probably makes a short girls jealous, but... Hey, you know, nothing wrong with that, but they're such a cute couple, honestly. And the reason why I want to share this page is because I just really find this fascinating. Plus, he likes wrestling. So, that's one thing. I swear, that girl is lucky to have a boy like him. Um, I apologize. Plus, that's a shirtless pic of him, by the way. And he's trading wine, if you're curious. So, this is show, like, some other, like, images and whatnot. Basically, they would travel right he has a really deep voice too and they went to london bridge even then curium here let me actually show that very quick hold on found it is ontario right now and right across is the u.s i like it right here i love this voice honestly i i think it's really 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 attractive a boy like him have a voice that deep i don't know why but he travels to canada and then with with his girlfriend too they basically have a dog and like this is probably the most inspiring couple i've ever seen honestly like literally like that girl is lucky to have a boy that is doing so much in his life with her you know taking amazing pictures even being followed by kanye west and animating his own like 
I don't know. I know this is unhealthy. I know it is. But, it, I mean, it is inspiring. It is. And happy anniversary. You know, this is some weeks ago. Um, and, yeah, basically, this is supposed to be his utter, his utter page. And then he has his designer page. I can't believe this boy has, like, two profiles. This is amazing. And I guess he has one of his friends that he met up with, too. So I apologize. I sound like a... Or am a creep for this. Because it is on in public, just so you know. But, you know, I'm just really curious. And this is the stuff he does. So, yeah, he's really handsome. Just, just to show that out. Right? So, and yeah, that's supposed to be his 3D model. That's really cool. Honestly. Boy, I swear, if I could meet a bird like that in this earth, I would be happy, I guess. I know they say that you gotta love yourself first. But you know what? It's not that easy. And I don't know why. I, I must have stumbled upon his page by accident because that is a tall subreddit, by the way. I wanted this to share that I feel upset that I'm not doing much in my life. Like, I'm just a squawny, um, I'm not giving you my height, by the way. Four to five foot, 28 year old, autistic, wannabe freak of a meaningless human being that this is doesn't work doesn't have any friends and he came and like brushed his teeth right and I mean he's eating like some piece of bites that he didn't even What am I doing in my life? I, like, I feel like I failed. You know, I, I, I feel like I, I failed. You know, I, I just, I know I should, can, I should not compare myself to a sort of people, but, you know, after being several really being dogs, then blackmailed in the past, and, you know, maybe having some meltdowns, I know I'm far from a great person. I do be apologize that I even, maybe, how bullied, well, I'm not sure if it's considered bullied to say some harsh stuff to people um, in the past is because of all, all of this. I think we apologize. It's just that, I don't know, I couldn't sleep this morning and then looking up like a couple, a couple, a, an Insta couple, I like to call it that, this, a, a couple on Instagram that is doing so much in her life and I'm just here just doing nothing you know I don't work I know that seems pathetic for someone that is pushing dirty um you know I cannot make any friends um I am unattractive I am ugly I accept that and I'm a freak just for finding like a tall boy like that boy that um Ash is dating. I really hope those two are doing well. Um, attractive because he's seven foot. It's amazing, really. Oh, and I just find a height really attractive. Plus, he has so much confidence. I mean, that's why. And it's like he's just much more mature, which he is, than I am. And I just wanted to say for anyone that's viewing this, okay, I deeply apologize that, yeah, I'm a horrible person for certain means. And that's why you don't see my face on this video because I'm too ugly to review it and I know my voice is irritating I mean hell I mean that I'm just gonna be honest uh, um his voice is pretty hot to be honest right sorry I know that sounds weird I hope that they're probably not seeing this like what the heck is this weird creep like looking at our Instagram even though it is out in public right that's why I wanted to share it I just basically I am still trying to figure out myself. And for someone of my age, I have never dated anyone. Right? I mean, yes, aces can date. I really would love to be on a date with someone, but that's not going to happen until my deathbed or if I probably get some type of cancer since cancer runs in my family. Or maybe they're just doing out of pity. And... You know, oh no, I, I just feel I'm a loser. I just feel like I am a loser. Like, I don't know what I'm doing in my life. I. Like, what the hell am I doing? 
I just want to let you know, this is why I try to get away from social media, because, you know, like, seeing that couple, right? It is, it is adorable, but it, it, I do feel jealous, you know, that it be, I won't probably get that. Like, like, a boy that is on Reddit, that's on Instagram, even on Twitter, like, doing all this, like, I can't help but feel so jealous, like, he's just so confident and social, and, you know, that's a gift, for, for, um, you know, a lot of people that are so comfortable and just getting compliments from people. For me, people probably tell me, oh, wow, you dress like a clown. And I, I did got comments that I did dress like a clown. And I remember just one man, it sucks I don't have my scarf. Um, I love that scarf, right? It was blue. It had, like, those little, like, puff balls on it. Um, he basically gave that scarf. Like, he must have, like, like turned a corner as he saw me walking by when I was going to I, I think it was like fries or something right and he basically teased me it, he's a he's a grown man like me right this happened like I think like a few years ago like before COVID and I mean it's been a while and he gave it to me and I accepted it like he did tease me that laughed at me like wow like and you just like a dork or something and I try not to have that affect me Right? And there's something wrong having an effect because it hurts. And it goes to show you that life can be unfair. Like the Malcolm Riddle song. Life is unfair instead of can because, well, it is unfair for some or a handful of people like me. And we do our best to actually get by. You know? Uh, it would be nice to be loved for once. Like, I'm so jealous of those two. I'm not kidding. Like, it would be so nice if I had that. Like, having, like, a really giant boy. I know that sounds weird. Like, if he likes it for being short, that's wonderful, right? Because I do like I do like how someone's, like, the opposite of me. Um, but, you know, like, him, like, wanting to travel, taking photos, and, you know, being, like, a computer nerd and whatnot, and knowing how to edit. I mean, even so at my age, that boy is, like, basically decades ahead of me. And maturity than I am. And, you know, I, I, I just feel like, well, what have I done wrong in my life? I feel like I failed. You know, I'm sure no one is probably going to feel this this far because I am that much of a freak. And this is why I do have thoughts of suicide and whatnot. And being clinically depressed, I just... You know, I don't know. I, I I didn't really get much support from anyone. I'm not even left the house um, since I did that live stream. Actually, I uh, forgot when. It was like, it's been like two days now, and I probably not going to go out any sooner. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. It's been two days since then. I'm just such a wreck that, man, like, what am I doing in my life? I'm just, like, standing here at home, and the TV's on mute and I'm just on the floor just you know like basically reading other people's lives and how they just take pictures of them traveling to other places which I won't be able to do because I just cannot see myself having that future like they do and having like this like cute tall boy just to you know just maybe take pictures and I don't know just <sighs> like I feel like I lost a lot of years And, I don't know, I, I just feel, I feel guilty and ashamed that I could have accomplished so much more, you know, just to have a joyful and, like, this jolly great life, I guess. But I feel like I failed. You know, I'm so sorry. I, I apologize if I'm being a creep, but I just wanted to share, like, this is how I feel, like, whenever I see, like, someone on Instagram that have so many friends and how they can travel, like, I can't believe someone that young. I mean, 21 is not, like, young, young, right? It is a grown adult. But, like, with me being seven years older than someone and them having, like, a girlfriend that, you know, so, like, like out of high school or something, like, man... I just want to say for anyone that does have a girlfriend, for my straight 
or bye boys out there, I suppose. Plus, uh, please don't call me bro man or dude. I just don't like it. Just call me by my name or, you know, um, or just something sweet, but my name is fine. Definitely do not take your girlfriend for granted. You're probably, I, I don't know. I, I can't do the math. Let's just say that you're probably like in the 1% of people out there that are so lucky to be in a relationship. I mean, I hope that's going well. You know, because there are people out there like me that would love to be in one. Not not sex-wise. Like, this like, kind of like a friend, but like, I don't maybe romantic? Maybe. You know? You know that they love me and they would hold my hand and we actually just travel together and you know, I don't know. I, I'm never going to get that opportunity. Plus, I do like boys are younger than me. So, you know, I just want to put that out there. And I don't know. I just, oh, I'm not, like, mentally mature for some of my age. And I know it shows. And can I cry my pillow? Or my Irish pants? Sorry. I want to weep. I'm trying to get it out, but, oh, I know that would probably irritate someone. And also for the six people that outvoted on, you want to see me having a meltdown, well, you got, you got a meltdown. This is me crying that I'm in pain, you know, of loneliness and wanting to date a boy that, you know, does so many amazing hobbies and being so smart and so tall too. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, you know, I, I want to, I want to cry. I, I do. I, I can't eat my pizza bites. I'm not hungry. And I just want to say that please don't say be grateful. Okay. Like I'm going to a difficult time if you can tell. And I don't want to hear you guys see a therapist or you go love yourself. It, I mean, honestly, it's just. We all, all, all of us human beings need love, right? And I feel I don't deserve that in a way. Like, I feel like I'm the only person on this earth filled with grass and ocean that I don't deserve to be loved. So I gotta yawn. But yeah, um, I, I, I apologize. I didn't like show the whole screen and all. I'm just, I, hell, I feel so guilty. I even have my Instagram on private. Oh, no. I, I just do. I really do. I, I just want to, I, I just hope that maybe just me wanting to cry or probably reach out to someone. And the time right now, if I got to share that, my nose is so burning right now. It's 7.49 in the morning, and it's the 1st of May. Also, one thing I, I do want to share, I do not want us to move. My mom said I'm never supposed to be moving or something. I, I don't want that. Like, we lost my Sabrina Husky, and, you know, going to do so much trouble, and not even spending time with my mom either, since I were, I'm barely lucky to even, like, see her for, like, five minutes a week. You know, I'm, I'm so lonely at home. Because my brother, he works half the day. Right? Most of the week. Like, Fridays of the week. And plus, he's in his room because, well, he needs rest and he needs to have his privacy. But, right now, I am I am alone at home right now. I'm doing nothing. You know? I It is great to be alone, but, man, you want that, you want that, oh, sensual soul of a human body near you. You know, I don't know what's the last time I have that. I, I apologize for all of this. I really am. I, I'm just so upset of myself because I just, you know, seeing that boy, like, man, that girl's lucky. You know, I, I, I'm so sorry. I had to bring that up. Like, it's adorable, like, how they're together and, you know, they love dogs. and Oh, my gosh. Like, I don't think I could ever meet a boy like that. 
you know, I, I don't know. I mean, especially a boy that wears glasses. I'm not kidding. I have a weakness for boys that wear glasses. I do. Um, you know, I don't know. Is this also I can tell you it's really popular? I mean, hell, he got noticed by that darn rapper that I do not like, Kanye, right? You can definitely view his Instagram if you want. Uh, this don't like say anything about me and all, okay? Um, you know, basically, I apologize. If you want to see, sorry about that. I need to get offline, honestly. I, I mean, I just can't believe that. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm slowly dying. I slowly am dying. Like, what am I doing with my life? You know, like I try and I try. You know, I feel so embarrassed for someone my age that has never worked in his life. Yeah, go ahead and tease me. Like, wow, damn, you are a man child. No wonder no one's to be around you because you basically dress in pajamas and you stay home all day because your social anxiety and your PTSD issues and you don't want to commit this because you got in DR as a child by a family member. And by the way, I wanted to assure that I didn't even got a chance to see, like, my, like, three of my nephews and nieces on my brother's birthday yesterday because of that family member that was there. So, I, I can't even spend the bur um, my brother's birthday with him. And my brother told me that our older brother has a car, which I would probably never get to see him for who knows how long because of that family member. Since I was seven that he did stuff to me, sexually, right? Or orally. Okay, just want to give it out there when you're 16. Or some, well, he was like 16, right? And he's a father, by the way. I apologize. I really do. This is like the lowest of the low in my life. And, wow, he, he even has clients? Man, what am I doing in my life? Honestly. I mean, I know he only has like 9,000 followers and all. You know, it doesn't matter. But, man, like, he's accomplishing a lot. You know? Like, wow. Hot Wheels official. Oh my gosh. He has clients for Hot Wheels? I use, I grew up with Hot Wheels. Oh my, I'm so jealous right now of that girl that has a boy, a tall, handsome boy like him that, wow. A tall, hot, and handsome, right? Oh my gosh. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? Honestly, I need to get away from Instagram. I know, like, Dion, this is not healthy for you. It's not. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he goes by... Oh, his name is Patrick. Okay, understood. Go figure. All right. So, once again, um, that's his page, right? His... 3D page, and then that's his, like, traveling page. So, yeah, Patricos, that's definitely Lat Lufrenia, excuse me. But, yeah, I just had to share this, and even dressing up together. He even, like, made, like, a James Charles impersonation. I thought that was pretty cute. I don't know. I don't... I don't. <laughs> Could that make me laugh? Honestly, that made me laugh. Boy, I swear... I, I mean, if I could just... Oh... I wonder, like, for couples out there that, I don't know how you could do it, like, dating the same person for years and staying, like, you know, I don't like to use the word strong, but, like, this, you're just hanging in there. Oh, by the way, this is what the, how this is, Bat Wheels. So, yeah, I love Batman, by the way, you know, I want to watch something like this, but, um, I don't know how... You could just, like, have such, like, strength, you know, to be with, I guess in what they say, your significant other, right? You're, like, the, I want to say the other half, but, um, I guess I don't know. It's like, I can't, I don't know. I've never been in a relationship, okay? Obviously, I haven't. I never dated. I never have. You know, I don't know. I, I'm just so jealous. Like, I don't know. This boy is something else, and... I mean, look how cute they are together. 
Honestly, let me just send that in very quick. You know, and that was 37 weeks ago, so he was 20 at the time. All right, I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I apologize. Like, I, I just hope I'm not being a stalker or whatever. Plus, yeah, he is that tall. So, I don't know. Like, that girl's so lucky. Like, you know, she's a tall girl herself, so great for her. But, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I'm just so jealous. You know, I apologize. I really do. I know this, once again, this is not healthy for my mental state. I don't want anyone to say you need to seek professional help, Dion. And, you know, just say anything harsh. Because, trust me... I, I've been to two mental hospitals myself, and, you know, no one was there for me and, and all, and and this is his um, um, Reddit page, too. So, you know, it'd be nice to meet, like, a boy like him. But, of course, there's only, like, one, like, we're all different. You know, I'm sure we'll probably never meet a boy like him, but, you know, I don't know. I just wanted to share this, but, and... Yeah, it says here when he was 15, he was 6'4", 6'5". Wow. Sorry about that, because this is from his page, if you're curious. So, yeah. Honestly. <sighs> blender? What the heck is that? You mean, like, blenders? So he likes blenders. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's 3D modeling. I see. All right, I... Dion, you know what? Uh, hang in there. And I want to ask y'all a question. Is Dion a downer? 